Hello there everybody, this is Saberwolf. Now I'm not going to show you a new build because actually I have no skills in my bar. What I am going to do is how teach you how to make a build on your own. First thing I want to tell you what to do is go to wiki.guildwars.com. This is an extremely powerful tool. It is put out by Enid themselves, the maker of Guild Wars, and basically it's a guide to everything about Guild Wars. To go there you can either type that uh, into your browser, again it's wiki.guildwars.com or you just hit F10 it's a built-in help uh, window and just click search wiki with nothing in the box and it will automatically take you to the main page now the first thing I'm going to go over with builds is c profession combos now if, say if you are a warrior Ellie with meteor shower Yeah, that didn't work very well because you have 25 energy on your energy bar and you're using a skill with 25 energy that has exhaustion. It just wiped out your whole entire energy bar and now you're sitting there not being able to do anything. However, if you're an elementalist warrior, you do have the energy available for that bar in order to use it. The next thing I want to go over is the primary attribute of your main profession. For Necros, it's Soul Reaping, which gives you energy when things die. For Rangers, it's Expertise, which gives, which lowers energy for certain kinds of skills. So make sure you take that into account when you look at your professions. Now, it's time to look at all the skills and see what combination you can add to make them benefit each other. What I like to do is take elite skills that are not used very often and try to find skills that complement that main skill. Now, in this case, I'm just going to go on my ranger here, and I'm going to look for some skills that, uh, just to try something new. Well, how about poison arrow? Let's try poison arrow out. Now, poison arrow is a skill that inflicts poison. And it's a simple bullet attack, five energy, quick recharge. Now, the next thing you want to do is try to find some skills that maybe complement that one skill. In this case, I'm going to come across barbed arrows. Now barbed arrows inflicts, makes your arrows inflict bleeding. Now my arrows are going to be causing bleeding and poison at the same time. Now, now I'm going to look at the uh, secondary professions. Now what secondary professions can benefit from uh, condi can benefit conditions? In this case I made myself a secondary mesmer and I came across epidemic. Now epidemic is a skill that if your target has conditions on it, it spreads conditions around the other targets nearby. So now my arrows are going to be causing poison and bleeding and now I'm going to be spreading those conditions around to other foes in the area. So look for an elite skill and then look for other skills that complement that elite skill. You want to add about four or five skills to your bar that complement each other. Now the next thing you want to look at is skills for survival. Now, these are skills that may be blocking or healing or any type of self-preservation. Now, because I'm working in the Wilderness Survival Area, I'm going to be looking at Natural Stride. Now, Natural Stride is a nice skill that you can use to, um, to create blocking and to get a danger from moving faster. Also, maybe for self-heal, I can use Troll Engine. Now, Troll Engine gives myself a health regeneration of plus 10. So now I have an ability to block, move out of danger, and to self-heal. Now the next thing you want to do is all builds should have a res. If you are almost all builds, if you are in a PvE area, you almost should always have a res. If you're an elementalist mesmer, you should carry res even if it's just a little res sick. PvP, slightly different depending on your composition of your team you sometimes don't have to carry a res if your build doesn't allow for it but in most cases make sure you bring a res I'm just going to throw a simple resurrection signet on the bar just to have it there now since I am a bow user I want to see if there's an ability for myself to actually make my attacks work faster and try to get them out 
in a quicker amount of time. In this case, I'm looking around on my skills and I see, uh, how about some rapid fire? Now, rapid fire just makes my bow attacks act 33% faster. Which, now, now you gotta look at some, at this point, now you're gonna look at your skill bar and look at some skills that might, in, in, might not interact with each other. I just put rapid fire in my bar, it's a preparation. Well, barbed arrow is a preparation too. I'm more concerned about creating my conditions more than attacking faster, so I'm going to remove that skill. Now I'm going to find a different skill to possibly increase my attack speed. Lightning reflexes. Eh, lightning reflexes is an extra stance, makes me attack faster, and again I can block. So hey, not only does it help me survive faster, I can actually shoot faster. So that, that brings out two um, areas. And now, if you're not a uh, bow user or sword user, looking at for spellcasters is our way to recuperate my energy loss from using my skills. And with that, um, power drain. Now, power, what power drain is, is if I use all my skills, am I able to continually use the build? Am I out of energy? All my skills have like a 60 second recharge. Make sure if you're using a build, make sure you are constantly being able to upkeep that build for as long as possible. Now I'm just going to throw antidote sig. It's a condition removal, so it's extra um, self preservation right there. Now after you figure out all your skills and maybe the attributes on how to make those skills work together, now you get to look at your equipment, which is the last area I'm going to go over. Now for equipment, you obviously got to have a bow because these are bow attacks. Now you might want to look at, say, if you want to have a lengthens bleeding. Uh, lengthens bleeding string on it or not, so maybe you can lengthen the bleeding to make the uh, length of poison you get on the target since your bleeding is slightly shorter. Um, other areas you want to look into is for runes, since I have them using Wilderness Survival, I want a Wilderness Survival mask with a rune on that, and since I want to have expertise to lower the cost of skills, maybe have an expertise rune on that. And the rest of the armor I have is just reading it to increase my energy so I can uh, spam this all day long. I hope this uh, little tutorial helped with any type of builds you might want to make. And as always, enjoy. And I will talk to you later.